Here we have a, a table with input and output variables, and we want to see what the expression for that might be, what uh, algebraic expression that's going to be. Uh, so we have an input. Why don't we call the input x? x is normally referred to as the input variable. Uh, the output variable we'll call y. So we have our input and our output. Input and output. So uh, we have uh, some different values here. Let's just look at those really quickly. We have uh, 0 and 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, et cetera. This goes on. We just need a couple, really. So the important thing to see is that the input variable, when is 0, our output variable is 4. So if we want to write it as a y equals formula, we know that when uh, the input variable is 0, we have a value of 4. So there's going to be a 4 that's not attached to any input variable. So 4 times nothing, just 4 by itself. So we'll probably have 4 plus or minus some multiple of x. So let's look at a couple more steps and see what that, uh, what that uh, pattern looks like. So here, if x is 1, then we go down in 1. Uh, if x is 2, we go down by 2. So it looks like it's a straight linear function with a slope of negative 1. So we just write minus x and see if that sort of makes sense. So if we plug in 0 here, we get 4. If we plug in 1 here, we get 4 minus 1 is 3. If we plug in 2 here, we get 4 minus 2 is 2. Etc. and that holds for the whole table. So here's our formula right here with our output variable and our input variable.